example 1.4 electric field 2 point charges Q1 negative 3 microcoulomb Q2 negative 5 microcoulomb are placed 12 cm and 30 cm from the point P respectively as shown in figure 1.4 determine A the magnitude and direction of the electric field intensity at P first you write down all the information given Q1 is negative 3 times 10 power of negative 6 coulomb Q2 negative 5 times 10 power of uh, negative 6 coulomb R1 uh, R1 we can label it uh, from P to Q1 this is your R1 12 centimeters then R2 can label it to this is R2 from P to uh, charge Q2 30 times sample of negative 2 meters okay, first step what do you do is uh, draw direction of in electric intensity at point P Okay, now I draw the your P here and then draw the electric intensity at point P so from point P due, uh, and charge Q1 where charge Q1 is negative so the direction it, because it is negative so the direction is towards Q1 and label it as E1P and then for charge Q2 so charge Q2 is uh, negative 2 and then your electric intensity is towards Q2 ok now you have the direction for both E1P and E2P so next step is uh, calculate E1P and E2P E1P is K Q1 over R1 squared substitute value K is 9 times sample of 9 Q1 is uh, 3 times sample of negative 6 divide by R1 your R1 is 12 times sample of negative 2 squared so E1P you will get 1.88 times sample of 6 newton per coulomb next step is uh, calculate E2P E2P you can use KQ2 over R2 squared E2P is uh, 9 times sample of 9 and then Q2 is uh, 5 times sample of negative 6 no need to write, include a negative no need your R2 is 30 times sample of negative 2 squared your E2P is um, calculate it you get 5 times power of 5 newton per coulomb the next step is you want to find the magnitude of electric intensity so your magnitude is known as EP now if you want to find the magnitude because it is in x uh, x component so you just uh, sum it sum it in vector form where now you have a uh, e2p to the right and e1p to the left 
so they are in opposite direction then uh, when it is in opposite direction so one is positive the other one is negative e to p will be positive and minus e 1 p will be negative now you substitute the value 5 times the power of 5 minus 1.88 times the power of 6 and you will get your magnitude which is uh, you get negative 1.38 times the power of 6 newton per coulomb so because you get negative your direction will be to the left and you can also write as uh, towards Q1 the net electric force as a third the net electric force as a third on Q0 equal positive 1 microcoulomb if it is placed at P so from a uh, definition uh, we know that uh, E P will be equal to F P over Q naught. So now just substitute the value but then you have to uh, write down here F P will be equal to Q naught E P. So what do you want here is the net electric force so your net electric force is which is fp equal to substitute your value q naught is 1 times power of negative 6 and your ep is 1.38 just now times power of 6 so your uh, net electric force is 1.38 newton okay and your direction is because just now you get negative right so it is to the left or you can write down as towards q1 Determine the distance of a point from Q1 where the electric field intensity is 0. Q1 negative 3 times the power of negative 6 coulomb. And then Q2 negative 5 times the power of negative 6 coulomb. So, because you want electric field intensity is 0, now you have a point here, a point A, and a you draw the charges. Now you have a negative Q1 here, and negative Q2 there. So, now the distance between Q1 and Q2 label it as R12 which will be uh, 12 plus uh, 30 cm so R12 will be 42 cm negative 2 meters next is um, from Q1 to A label it as X meaning that from A to uh, Q2 it will be R12 minus X ok and then uh, the direction at point A for electric field intensity so for E1A Q1 is negative so it will be towards Q1 so this 
label is S E one A. While E two A, it will be towards Q two. E two A. So next step is because you want the electric field intensity at A is zero. So summation E at A is equal to zero. Okay, and then when it is zero, it will be opposite direction for E one A and E two A. Then you have a E one E two A minus E one A is equal to zero. Thus E one A is equal to E two A. So K Q one over R one A squared equal K Q two over R two A squared. Now you can uh, just cancel K. Okay. Next is you substitute the value. So you just substitute your value here, which will be three times ten power of negative six over x squared. R one a is r x squared, and then uh, q two is five ten 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 power of negative six divided by okay r one two is forty two right forty two times ten power of negative two. Minus x squared. So uh, calculate, and you will get your x is zero point one eight three meters.